1929. This was the year where the United States' economy shifted from the glamorous and prosperous times of the Roaring Twenties to the destitution and despair of the Great Depression. The Great Depression injured American society, where millions lost their jobs, causing them to become unemployed and homeless. Many had to live out of their cars and scramble for food just to survive. This epidemic lasted for nearly a decade. However, it wasn't until Franklin D. Roosevelt became president and the United States began its journey to recovery. FDR implemented the New Deal, which not only were policies and programs Roosevelt believed would help reform the American economy, but also changed the role of the federal government within society and politics. FDR's main goal was to help as many Americans get off their feet and to find jobs no matter what Congress or the Supreme Court had told him. In comparison to President Herbert Hoover, who wanted to just let the economy fix itself, Roosevelt took instant action by implementing new acts and policies within the New Deal that created new jobs, constructed houses and shelters, and provided food for the homeless. Ultimately, the New Deal that President Roosevelt created was not successful. More after 10 years after Black Tuesday, when the stock market crashed in 1929, Americans were still hungry and homeless. It wasn't until the beginning of World War II where the United States' economy increased because of the high demand for wartime weaponry and commodities. World War II brought citizens together and began a huge industrious boom. <laughs>